<laughs> Hello everybody, welcome to 10 Minute Reviews. This is Freya, who just got a T-R-E-A-T, -E so now she's looking for more. I'm Jason. <laughs> I'm Amy. And we'll bring you today's video. As always, please hit the like and subscribe buttons. Guys, we're a small family channel, just loves to talk about books, and we want to introduce as many books and authors to you guys as we can, and we'd appreciate any support that, we, that you can give us. Obviously, we're going to keep doing this no matter what, but support is, of course, great. So... Today I want to talk about an author. I'm not talking about a particular book, so I'm not going to fall into my usual four, uh, four categories of, world, well I might actually, world, characters, uh, plot, and writing style. Um, more I'm just going to talk about the author. So this author is an absolutely fantastic, incredible author, Lawrence Block. Now he's been writing for a long time. He's been writing for long before you were even born. And uh, hard to do. He's, he, I'm pretty sure was, in fact I know he was, was a best-selling author. 70s, 80s, and uh, very prolific, fantastic author. Some of his books have been turned into movies or TV shows, and he's got a bunch of different series. He is, I, I can't stress enough, he's just an amazing author. He's mostly a crime type author. Uh, put him kind of in the, in the realm of like a, like a Mike, Michael Connolly, Barry Eisler, Robert B. Park, Parker, um, um, John D. McDonald type of, of author. Uh, kind of your, you know, your modern world-ish, again, this is, he, he was writing, you know, a few decades back. So modern world back then would be almost unrecognizable to us nowadays, like with cell phones and stuff that weren't around. Um, and again, he's got a lot of different characters, but there's two in particular that were the most fascinating characters. The first one is Keller. Now, Keller, I think it was like three or four books. And this, this book, by the way... Um, Enough Rope is actually a collection of short stories, so this would be a great way to introduce yourself to Lawrence Block because one, they're all quick reads, and two, he, he has all of his, his little, little short stories of all of his best characters. Now, Keller is an interesting character because he's a hitman, but this guy ain't Jason Bourne. He's a hitman that is literally like your everyday guy, and obviously this is written back in the days with a lot less forensics and stuff like that, but... Really, is your there, there's no like convoluted plots. It's you know you might follow the person for a little while and then be following him and then notice that he's that you know as he's been following this guy for two days, he's standing like three feet behind him and he's like, oh, okay, we're waiting bye. on the waiting on the subway. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Um, or oh, how terrible. <laughs> and, and, and he's yeah, it's it's just oh my god, can you believe that he jumped? Um, He's, you know, he's gone, he's actually gone and knocked on their doors and introduced himself as like a new neighbor or something. He's actually had dinner with some of his targets and then like three days later killed him. Oh, oh. Um, he's tried to retire, he's talked about retiring. He's kind of your everyday man and it, it's really fascinating. Now my favorite one, Bernie. Bernie R Rodenbar, I believe. He's a, he's a thief, he's a burglar. And Bernie the burglar. He's, yeah, Bernie the burglar. But he's kind of older. And he owns a used bookstore. So he's a very literate burglar. Um, but yeah, he's a burglar. But the, the Bernie Rodendar books, he, he ends up as, um, as a crime solver. And, and that's what's so fascinating about the books is that he just keeps getting sucked into the, you know, he, maybe he's blamed for a crime. And it, like, no, no. And it pisses him <laughs> off. So he goes and starts searching, and, and but again, he's kind of the everyday man, and, and sometimes it's really, really funny how, how the events just play out in his books and how he ends up solving these, these crimes, and, and it's, it's, sometimes it's very Hardy Boy-esque or Nancy Drew-esque, and, and uh, he's, he's uh, buddies with a few cops that, of course, are always going to try and catch him if they can, but he's helped out and solved so many crimes, they also tend to, to, to uh, trust him when he says, you know, hey, I, I know who did this, come meet me here and I'll prove it, kind of thing. Um, because he always does, he always proves it. And Bernie Rodenbar, they're, they're absolutely awesome. You, you'd actually really like them. They're, the Bernie Rod Rodenbar books are freaking great. Absolutely hilarious books. The character is just, he's just this mousy, you know, guy, just about every person watching this video could probably beat him up in a street fight, um, and yet he hits, that's up in these silly situations, and manages to solve these crimes. Now, of course, a lot of times he solves these crimes via a little bit of cleverness and a whole lot of burglary, 
um, or a whole lot of breaking and entering. But again, they're absolutely fascinating. So if you like short stories, if you like mysteries, if you like uh, Slice of Life, because Keller, even though his books and stories usually revolve around having to kill somebody or somebody trying to kill him, they're, in fact, one of the Keller books is great because they, I think three different hired hitmen are hired to kill him, and it's, it's, it's pretty funny. Because there, there's, there's definitely some Keystone Cops elements that go along with uh, um, with. Keller and, and just the situations he finds himself into and how he gets out of them by sheer luck and happenstance sometimes um, or just sheer incompetence on the other side. Um, but yeah, if you like if you like crime novels, if you like hilarious um, characters, what's that? What? I didn't hear a word you said. You said, said. That's what... you said if you like I said pina coladas. If you like pina coladas, you can drink one while you're reading this. It actually would kind of go along well with it, actually. Um... Lawrence Block's Enough Rope is a great introduction to, to his books and all of his characters. An absolutely awesome, awesome, awesome book. So check it out. Lawrence Block, Enough Rope. After you hit the like and subscribe buttons. Go check it out. You really like it. Otherwise, thank you everybody for watching, and we will catch you guys next time. Bye. Bye now.